Hey guys, it's Kathy here, and I am back with my first album um, of 2015, and I thought, what better way of coming in with the new year than with a calendar album? So, this is a calendar box album, and it's a 7x8, and it uses the new Graphic 45 Time to Flourish collection. This is a 12-page album, so there's a page for every month of the year, and um, I will have a tutorial of this available in my Etsy shop and I have a link to my shop um, to the listing for this tutorial in the remarks section of the video. So um, I want to start off by showing you um, the the box, the, the covers, the front and back covers and the flap that I've done. Um, all of the instructions for how I've done this is included in the tutorial. If you've purchased the binding tutorial then the adjustments for um, what you'll need to do, because I've wrapped um, the covers this time with cardstock and normally I paint them, so there's a few um, adjustments and also this is a five hinge album instead of um, a four or six hinge, so uh, that's an extra file that I can send though if you have the binding tutorial already. So I will show you um, the outside of the box first. So on the front cover here I've um, used this different flap and this little latch closure here. Um, I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. There are a few online sources for it. I've seen some on Amazon um, and they still do carry this at Hobby Lobby if you um, have access to that store. And uh, let's see, I have a sticker here from the sticker sheet in the collection. Oh, let me back up. Um, I've used three of the 8x8 paper pads in this collection the um, sticker sheet, the pockets and tags, um, the chipboard tags, and the banner sheet in the collection. On the front cover, i um, got the sticker here that's kind of popped up and um, has the frame matted behind it, some little rose, uh, rosebuds, rolled rosebuds, some bling flourish here. I used two of the chipboard tags and um, they're attached on the top here. I'll show you. Um, on the top, just some uh, rosette trim and the Tim Holtz ring fastener here holding the tag on. And um, also something different, now this album is sewn, something different that I did this time is um, you'll notice I actually use the papers from the collection on the spines. Now I'll go ahead and show you the back. Um, went ahead and cut out, I've done a lot of cutting out of the images in this collection, so I've cut a few of the roses here and then um, the Time to Flourish sticker here across the center of the back cover. So we will go ahead and get into this. You can see, um, I'm, I'm going to have to do it like this, the way the pages are in it to show you on the video, but it does lay flat and there's plenty of room in here um, for expansion for photos. The album will easily hold um, three to four photos per, per month. I kind of did it like with the idea of a year in review type album. So we'll go ahead and open this. Um, the little latch here, and I'm going to have to kind of move things up and down to show you, but it opens up and opens this way. Oops, we'll start here. So it starts with January, and you can see I've got one of the stickers up here. I hope that's not out of frame on um, the flap and everything um, coordinating here for January on the inside of the flap. And then um, for January, I've got a chipboard tag here, and this collection was fantastic with the little cut-aparts. Um, each month had the cut-apart sheets, so I was able to use a lot of um, the embellishments from that sheet. So each page has the border strip from the cut-apart sheet, either on the top or the bottom of the page here. And then this is a little swing tab. This is a sticker from the collection that I've matted several times to make into a swing tab. I'm going to move this down so you can see. The flap comes up here, so room for a photo here. And then these little swing tabs here open, and two little flaps here to each side. And then this flap has a magnet and then opens down. And hopefully you can, oops, you can, whoops, this is going to be a little difficult to show this one. <laughs> um, and I've used, I've cut apart all of the calendar. Um, pieces on the cut apart sheet and use them on a flap on each page. So you can put a photo on there, use it for journaling or whatever. And then on the base page, this is the ivory card stock that I used, six sheets of it, um, about half a sheet for each of the pages. And then I just cut out images from the January paper here. And this is all, all these little pieces here. Um, I made a little pocket. All these little pieces are from the paper collection. 
So, um, and then these little tags here. Each page has a little, the month tag and then a little square tag here. And you could put photos on the back of those or again use them for journaling. And then some space here on the base page. So, go ahead and close the, look at me, there we go. Close this up again. And the top flap. So on uh, February, um, start over here. There's a little pocket here that um, has two little tags in it from that I cut apart from the paper. And then this is a sticker from the collection. And there's a magnet on this flap. So a little space here. And then a swing tab here. And then this little flap opens. And then um, this is from the pockets and tags. And then I used apart a few of the little tags from the sheet here. So you got a little room on that side. And then on the other side, um, this is from the pockets and tags and more of the paper just cut out. And um, this is from the, I think the banners, either the banners or the pockets and tags. And then this flap opens up, this. And then this flap with the swing tab opens down. And then you have the, the fa February calendar card here. And then on this page is where the February tag and another square tag here are. And they get oh, he's caught there, tucked into the pocket here. So we'll go ahead and close this up. So um, really pretty papers and fun to work with. Okay, on March. I did, these are all new page designs, every page is um, different, um, and I did it that way just because I wanted to showcase all of these pretty papers and kind of have, you know, have the base page be um, somewhat similar, but then have each page its own unique month. So I've got a little pocket there behind a sticker, and then these little tags, um, this is part of the pockets and tags with these two tags that slide in. And there's a magnet here on this flap, sorry I didn't show you that. Kind of a combination of the swing tab magnet. And then this opens to the side, so lots of room on this one. And these two small flaps, again another magnet uh, swing tab here. And then these open like this. And then a swing tab here on this flap. And this opens up. And then the March calendar tag right there. And then a little pocket here again with a tag and then the two tags that pull out of that pocket. And again, uh, more of the just images that I've cut out from the March papers. Close that. There we go. Okay, for April, um, this is a chipboard tag with a magnet for the closure and then the flap Whoops, let me show you this first little pocket here with just a little cutout tag. And the flap opens up, and there's your April calendar tag here. And then this flap opens down for a little more room for a photo. And then, I'm going to close these first. A magnet here on that swing tab, and then this opens to the side. And I totally forgot to mention, I just thought of it now. Um, I used an edge die. This is a Tim Holtz Brackets edge die. I've used this die before in um, other albums, so if you have that. It is a little fussy to sew around if you sew the albums, but um, I've tried to only use it like maybe once per page. And the other nice thing about this, um, in this album, there are no flaps that are too wide to go through um, the Big Shot or a Cuddle Bug. Those, that's the machine that I use. So, And then a little tag here with a sticker on this page. And then a swing tab, and this opens like this. And then your April tag and a square tag behind the pocket. And then a little tag here. And then for May, just used a sticker, matted a sticker from the collection here. And there's a magnet on this flap and it opens up. So lots of space here and here. 
the swing tab on this flap, and that opens down with the May um, calendar tag. More space here. And then there's a magnet on the back of this flap, and it opens down. More space here, and then a swing tab. I've used one of the um, just the stamp cutouts from the paper collection as a swing tab, and then this one opens like that. So lots of room on May. And then your tags again. And then this little tag again behind there. So some of the pages have a lot of room, and some of the months, um, not quite as much, but again, I wanted to do them all just a little different. Um, on June, this of course was the papers that I used for the outside of the box, um, and just going for more of kind of a, a floral, um, just a pretty vintage look. So room here and here, this is a magnet swing tab again, and then these little flaps open down. And then there's a little pocket on this side with the tags. And then, so I need two hands there. On this side is a little swing tab here. And then this little flap holds this flap, opens like this, and then there's a magnet on this flap, and it opens. And then you have June um, calendar tag over here, and the June tags here in the pocket. Another little tag here. Oops, he's stuck. There we go. Okay, for July, the uh, nice garden type in red, white, and blue. So we have a Let's Celebrate pennant here. I have to bring that down just a little bit to show you. This swings down and this top flap opens up. A little bit of room there on that flap. And then this flap it has a magnet and it opens. And then you have the July tag here and the two tags that pull out and the little tag in this pocket and then on the other side is a swing tab from one of the chipboard tags in the collection and this flap opens this way and then a magnet on this flap and it opens this way and then just more images cut out from the papers a couple little tags there August, I've used a postage stamp sticker again, matted on several layers of cardstock for a swing tab. And uh, more, this is from the pockets and tags, a tag from that sheet, and uh, I think a die cut image from the banners. And this rotates, and this flap opens down. And then there's a magnet on this flap, and it opens up. And then you've got um, the August calendar tag here and then a magnet on this little swing tab for these two flaps that open to the sides and then your tags again that pull out on the page Oops. Here. for September um, I've used just a little bit of ribbon actually in this album just on the covers and on this page and this is the die cut buckle from um, the pockets and tag sheet and another piece that I cut out from the papers this is a sticker from the collection here and then there's a magnet on this flap and it opens to the side and then you have your September calendar tag here and lots of room on this flap and this is a chipboard tag for the swing tab so let me close that back up first and then this opens to the side. Lots of room on that flap. And then a couple little tags here on this flap. And then a swing tab for this to open this way. And then, of course, more of the cutout images and tags here in the pockets. And then 
then for October, this is a little magnet on this flap here, and it holds this flap. There's a little pocket I made out of the sticker here, just tucked a little tag behind it. And then this flap opens down. That's your October calendar tag there, and room on this flap, and then there's a magnet on this bottom flap, and it opens down. And then on the page itself again, a couple of tags in the pockets. And then for November, I used a tag from the Pockets and Tags. I'm going to probably have to put this down a little lower. And uh, another little pennant. There is a magnet. These are all attached, but there's a magnet on that one. And then these flap open to the side. And then there's a swing tab here for this flap to open up. And then a magnet on the smaller flap. And then the November calendar tag and the two tags in the pocket and the other little tag. There we go. And then December. Um, I have a, a tag from the pockets and tags here. And there's a magnet on the back of it holding this flap. It opens up. And then the December calendar tag, a little bit of room here, and then a swing tab here. That flap opens, and then another swing tab here, and the bottom flap opens down. And then your tags on the base page again. There's two, and the little one. So there it is. You can see um, that there is still a good amount of room on each page for at least three or four photos, um, some some even more than that. And it was just a lot of fun cutting out um, all the images and things from the papers. And you don't ha you know, you can substitute a lot of the cutout images from the papers instead of getting the pockets and tags and the banners and everything if you want to go that route with it and save yourself a little bit on the supplies for this. Um, I did end up having um, not, it was about half of one of the 8x8 pads left over and quite a bit from the embellishment sheets. I'm probably going to do maybe a, a sm slightly smaller calendar project with that. Um, you don't have too, too much left over, not enough to make a whole album, but you might be able to do something um, small with it. So, and then this just closes up like this, and then the latch here that closes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a ton of fun to make. Um, it's it's just, it, this is totally new and different for me, having a whole enclosed box like this. And I'm really, really pleased with the way it turned out. So as I said, the tutorial for this album is in my Etsy shop. And uh, thanks for watching.